everybody in here sitting here having my coffee and my new coffee cup having coffee with all of you last night was a weird night last night well I heard some scratching around and uh, Judy started barking so I went out there and something had pulled down the fencing by the little corner where I go in and out I couldn't see anything um, so I just kind of put it back up the chickens were safe and sound in the van it was pitch dark outside I had trouble getting back to sleep, clearly. I mean, <laughs> look at me. Um, so, I'll show you the area that they, they took down. They didn't, whatever it was, didn't ruin the plastic or anything. They just pulled the netting down and, uh, I don't know, probably just had a sniff around the chicken yard. Because the chickens were safe and sound in the van. That thing is like a fortress. The only difference, the the only thing different that I did yesterday was... I let the chickens go up into the van later. Um, they had plenty of food, plenty of water, and I've read most people don't even put food and water in the coop at night because chickens sleep at night. So I took the food out and put it in the little chicken cage, closed the chicken cage off. And I think that attracted the scent of their food, probably attracted that raccoon that was out a couple nights ago. So. I don't think I'm going to do it that way. I'll probably just keep all the food in the in in the coop, um, in the van at nighttime, and uh, hopefully that will prevent you know attracting of critters and whatnot. So, anyhow, I got to go into town today. I got to have my coffee first. I have to have my coffee. I haven't even had coffee yet this morning. I did let the chickens out. Uh, sorry, I didn't film that. I just just wanted to go out and make sure they were all okay. So I'm going to have my coffee. i got to go into town. I think there may be a couple things waiting for me at the post office. Um, the informed delivery on the website isn't working. So um, I'm going to go see if I've got something at my post office box. Well, I'm on my way to town. Forgot my sunglasses so my eyes get all squinty in the sunshine because I get photophobic. i got to go to the post office. It took me like 12 times to get this truck started. I've got to get this thing worked on. But once it uh, warms up and gets going, it stops the chirping and it, it runs just fine. So, But I know one of these days that belt or that pulley are both, one or the other or both are going to go. So I got to get it worked on. Anyway, I'm on my way to the post office. Got to stop by the store. Hopefully get everything done so I don't have to go back into town for a week. Okay, guys, I'm in town. I have three packages I just picked up from my post office box. I've been told to open one of them immediately, so I'm just going to open all of them right now, do the video, upload it while I'm in town so I won't have to come back. So this is awesome. I can't wait. Oh, did I bring my knife? I didn't. I'm going to have to use something else. I'll figure it out. Okay, so let me get these out of the truck and then open them up. Here they are. I know. I know what that one is. I've already been told what that one is. These two are surprises. I knew that they were coming, but I don't know what's in them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pull this down and open it up and show you what it is. I was told to open this one up right away. So let's see what it is. This feels weird doing this in town. Pull this out. Oh, let's see. Um, was I supposed to open this one first or the other one? I think I messed it up. Oh well. Oh my gosh, what is this? Let's see what this is. Ice Genie. The original Ice Genie Ice Cube Maker saves space in your freezer. Holds up to 120 cubes. Wow, that is interesting. Unique double chamber design. Oh man, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, this is from... I'm going to go ahead and say it's just from Teresa. Teresa, this is so cool. I can't wait to see if I can figure this out. All right, what's next? Um, oh, look at this. A caddy thingy that you can put stuff in. I can, shoot, I could even use this to put garden stuff in. Oh, I can think of all different kinds of things I can put in this. This is wonderful, 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 wonderful. Thank you, thank you. All right, what's next? What's next? Um, let's see. Crispy oats. 
Oh yes, I love this. And you know what? The chickens will love it too. That's going to be delicious. Alrighty. Let's see what else. Bubble wrap. I feel weird doing this in public. Let's see. Let's see. All right, I'm just going to pull this out and uh, then show it to you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know what? I was just going to go to tractor supply company and get some of this. Mana Pro is supposed to be really good. 16% uh, protein. It's got with probiotics. Oh, this is great, Teresa. Thank you so much. Those chickens are going to love, love, love this. And especially the small chicks because they're crumbles. They're going to love it. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Okay, this looks like it might be a wine-making thing. This is also from Teresa, so let me turn this around and open it up. Okay, now I know I did this wrong. I was supposed to open this one first because she said there's a white card on the top and that I need to open the card first. So um, I'm going to go inside my truck and sit down and open this card and read it because that's what I was supposed to do first. So hang on. I got I got this kind of propped up my, my little uh, phone thingy, so... I'm going to open this card, because I love cards, and on the front it says, sweet and, and then from Teresa, so let me see, let me see, oh, ha ha ha, look it, looks like she made this party like it's your birthday, oh, that is so cool, I love it, love it, okay. I'm not going to read this out loud. I'm going to just read it real quick, okay? All right, I'm going to read this and I'll come back. Okay, I'm glad I didn't read this while I was in front of the camera because it made me want to cry. A very, very special, special note. And she talks about a few more things that she is sending. Um, I think there's another package that's coming from her, but it's not here yet. And... This is just so, it means so much to me, Teresa. Thank you so very, very much. Just, I need to, you know what? I, I need to go reopen the rest of those. I totally did this wrong, Teresa. I am so sorry. I was supposed to open my birthday card first, then look at the stuff that was in that box, then open the other one, and I messed it up. So, thank you, Teresa. This, I'm going to keep this forever. There's been some other people who have sent me cards and they their words have just been so touching and and meaningful and handwritten. It just, Teresa, you are a blessing. So I'm gonna go open the rest of that back there and show everybody how generous you are. Well, she did say she taped it like Fort Knox, so I'm gonna get my keys and just kinda ch -ch -ch with the keys and open this up and see what's inside. I can't wait. Phew, you weren't kidding, girl, when you said you had this tape like Fort Knox. It took me 15 minutes to get into this, and I broke a sweat. All right. What is it? Let's see. Oh, I see a bottle. I see a bottle of something. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. A tiny bun pan. This is going to be great. Oh, you know what? I got to get some eggs. I got to get some eggs, and I'm going to make a cake, and I'm going to cook it in my Coleman stove. Oh, this is so cool. I love this, and it's the perfect size. I can also use it for a jello mold. Very awesome, Teresa. Love it. Okay, what's next? What's next? What is that? Hmm. It's got a pretty bow on it. Let's see. You know what? I'm never doing this again like this. I need to have my tripod with me. Okay. Let me open it. Ooh, it's a soft, squishy something or other. What is it? Sorry, let me open it up. Look at this, you guys. It is a satin pillowcase. I love sleeping on satin pillowcases. It's got a little zipper in the side, and I love it to stuff the pillow in, and the pillow stays. And I've got these feather pillows that I love. I've had them for a while. Oh, this is going to be so, so nice to go to sleep on. Thank you, Teresa. Okay, onward. What is this? What is this? Let me get it out. 
I feel so sorry for you guys having to watch through all this. There we go. Be kind to your mind. I love the color. That's my favorite color for one. And, oh, it is a daily, like a daily diary where you can make to-do lists, exercise, reflecting. I add something special to this world, daily gratitude. I deserve to have many dreams come true. Oh man, this is so thoughtful, Teresa. I love these things. And I love to write them down too, so I am definitely gonna use this every day and then I can go back and read them. Oh, I need the power of positive thinking every single day. Sometimes I get so down. So this will be a daily reminder that, you know what, I just gotta take care of myself, take care of my mind and my spirit. This is wonderful, Teresa, thank you. Okay, what's next? Um, you know what, I'm just gonna pull these all out and then show them to you one by one. I think that'll be easier. Before I do that, I just gotta show you this. I know what this is. This is, this is some kind of wine, but look, she has it taped up so well. And so I'm gonna open these all up and show you what they are. I've got wine. Okay, it took me about 25 minutes to get into all of this because it was packed so well. But first of all, she sent a doggy sweatshirt for Miss Judy, a pet sweatshirt. Judy needs this. She gets so cold and she shivers. No filter needed. I'm this adorable. Oh, this is great. It's going to fit her. And I may even put this on her before she goes to bed because when she gets out underneath the cover, she has trouble getting back under. So I'm going to put this on her today. She's going to love it. Check this out, guys. Check it out. Spicy maple bourbon pickles. Oh my lord, these are going to be delicious. And thankfully she sent me some more jasmine essential oil. I love jasmine essential oil. I finished all of my essential oils that I had. My sister had sent me some uh, jasmine a while back and it's all gone now. So this is going to be wonderful. I'm going to put it in my little diffuser. A bottle of wine. Yes, sweet apple. I love, I love that flavor. I'm going to crack this open tonight. Alrighty, moving this way. An indestructible dog frisbee. Oh my goodness, Judy is going to love, 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 love this. We're going to play with it today. And look at this, an insulated wine craft. Did I say that right? So I can open that up if I'm not finished with it. I can just put it in here. That is going to be wonderful. Um, and then I already showed you these things. And she sent me some kind of plant. I don't know what it is. And it is just packed so well right now that I don't want to take it out of its packaging until I get home. So when I find out what this plant is, I will put it in the description so you guys can all know. This is wonderful, Teresa. Thank you so very, very much. I love all of these gifts. Oh my goodness. All right, let me put this all back in. She had it packed so nicely, and uh, hopefully it'll just survive the, the ride home. I'm sure it will. Thank you so much, Teresa. Last but not least are these garden hoops, and I actually am not sure who sent me these. I was expecting a package from Doreen, and I, I know what it is. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let it be a surprise. But these came, and they are more of these hoop garden steak thingies, and I need them because I have plans for a special project to use with this. So this is wonderful. I definitely needed more of these. So whoever sent these to me, thank you so very much. This is awesome. I had to take my sweater off because opening up Teresa's packages made me break out in a sweat. Teresa girls, thank you so much. Those gifts were all so thoughtful and very useful. I can't wait to put them to use and Judy is just going to be so happy when she has that little sweater on her, especially at night because it's getting down there and she doesn't have a lot of fur. And the frisbee and the wine, oh my gosh, and that beautiful, lovely, lovely letter. That was very... You know, and whenever I get down, I'm going to read that letter. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yep. And um, whoever sent the garden hoops, thank you. Those are going to be very useful. I've got another little plan for them, too. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get it done, though. We're just going to have to wait and see. And 
ah, I don't know, I just feel so blessed today. So very blessed. So, um, but you know what? I'm never going to do the gift uh, opening up here in town and then upload the video because people were walking by and looking at me kind of weird and stuff. So, and it's more fun when I have, I didn't have a knife. That's why it took me so long. I had to try and like use a key to break the tape and whatnot. So, thank you so much, Teresa, and thank you to whoever sent me the hoops. I'm not sure. I thought that skinny package was going to be something else because I know I've got something else on the way, and it is you guys are going to flip out. You're going to flip out when you see it. All right. So anyhow, I've been rambling enough. I'm going to get this video together and upload it and uh, go home, play with the chickens, play with Judy, get some work done. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.